Hello, my ghoulish friends. Thank you for joining me today. This is Diana, the Paper Pineapple. And if you're new here, welcome. I am still working in my October daily album. And this was my last um, entry that I made, which was uh, October 1st, which was my son's um, birthday. So I have a video, a process video of that. And I'm just going to quickly just share with you my day two, which is Spooky Manor. So um, just a little peek here. Um, and this is what I've come up with. So it's just the spooky decor around my house. And so I just, I ended up using the Ellie Studio um, Alpha stickers. They're the puffy Alpha stickers here that I bought. And um, I added the spooky here and I spelled out manor here. I added a little tab here. And I use this star um, um paper here from I believe it's Echo Park yeah, it's the I Love Halloween uh, collection here from um, Echo Park and so this card here is from oh so so is it so scary or something like that from Bella Boulevard um, it was like a leftover card that I had and I thought that's perfect to talk about my um Halloween decor so I ended up just using the sticker sheets and you know I'm trying to go for a more simplistic um a look just because I want to focus on documenting the stories and all the things so I'm not going to do too crazy stuff but I just added a, a um a sticker strip here and then I tied it on this side with the strip of the paper here and on a sticker on this side um, I added a couple bats and then I just picked out six pictures that I liked of decor around my home. I did end up using my October day two. These are my free printables that you could check out in my playlist, my October daily season printables 2024. I have five days of free printables that you can go and download. And if you do tag me on Instagram, I would love to see your creations. Um, so yeah, I just added a couple stuff around my home. Um, and then my my journaling is hidden underneath this pocket here. Um, I just typed that up and added that and made a little flip up there and called it good. So this is day two, guys. Um, I'm going to show a process video of day three. So if you will stick around, you'll see. So for day three, I am documenting... Um, from my prop list is Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. So this was the day that my son and I wore our Beetlejuice um, apparel. I bought myself a sweater and I bought him a Beetlejuice shirt. So my other two, they're not so much into the Halloween spirit as they used to be and that's okay. But I am just holding on to dear life with all the things with my youngest. So he absolutely loved his shirt and I thought that I would use this one side to showcase um, a big picture. Um, so I went ahead and added the leftovers from this other sheet that I'm going to be using on this other side. And so I just adhered that top piece there just to tie it in. Um, it just seemed very Beetlejuice to me. It had the black and white stripe, just like his, his clothes that he wears. And I thought this would be perfect. So here I am just, um, trying to, Add some adhesive here. I forgot to order um, an extra blade for my trimmer, so I, I'm getting like the edges, the rough edges, and so I have to go in with scissors and cut those little little bits off. So here you have me just adding some adhesive with some, my ATG gun and trying my best to line it up as best I, as best I could. I do end up trimming a little bit of excess that I have, and I do a tip that you can do is just print out your picture a little bigger so they can just adhere it and then you just cut off the excess. That seems to work out well for me because I struggle trying to uh, put things down, uh, align them perfectly. So I am not good at that. So that is a one trick that I use um, to get things um, evenly. So here I'm just using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Power Punch, adding the holes there. And then I have my left side done. Um, I knew I wanted to, oh, and then here I just have my other side. I've already put my little um, hole 
um, they, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're whole reinforcers. And so I just added some black just to give it a little, you know, different touch there. And then I pulled out my number three from my new, my, my numbers that I have as my free printables. Um, you can go ahead and check that in the description and get yours to use in your projects. Um, and then I just hit, pulled out these citrus twist, um, foam alphas. And the first time that I, uh, put down Beetlejuice. I think I did okay um, putting those down, but the second, <laughs> the second row of um, letters, um, I kind of went off on a tangent there. So I forgot to take out my ruler. I was just so nervous that I was gonna spell them wrong. And this paper is like really fine. And I knew that if I made a mistake and I would try to pull it up, it would peel off the photo. So I had to be very careful and I just let it go. I'm just like, okay, I'm not aiming for perfection. I just want to put these things down and document the moment. That's, that's what I am trying to do this year. I'm not too focused on elaborate, you know, interactive pages or anything like that. I just want to get it done. So um, here I'm just adding my second set of Beetlejuice because... Uh, my crafty bestie here on YouTube and on Instagram, Veronica, who is Veronica Creates. She invited us over for a Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice watch party. And this was the second movie and neither her nor us have seen the new movie. So it's just, we've just been super busy. And even if I wanted to, I got kids that have practice and they get off late. And during the week, it's, you know, school night and it's just really hard so um i wasn't sure if it was still playing in the movies but we knew that it was already streaming and so she went ahead and purchased it and invited us over so we were super excited so my boys and i went over my daughter was cheering it was her homecoming week and she was um, at her homecoming game and was going to be on the float and all that so she did not make it but um she had tons of fun um, doing her own thing so um, we did too. We had lots of fun. Um, on this side here, I knew I wanted to add this coloring page that my oldest son did. He is really good with coloring with alcohol markers and I just wanted to feature it on, in my album. Um, so I went ahead and adhered it to the right side. And since I didn't really have like any Beetlejuice paper, I wanted to be creative and make my own transparency. Yes, you can do it on your own. Just buy transparency paper and make sure that it's compatible with your printer and just come up with a design. And so here I ended up um, using some green beetles. It just reminded me of him. So um, I went ahead and made my own transparency and decided that I would make it the same size as this page here. I do end up making the holes. And I decided that I would adhere my pictures on this transparency sheet. So there was so many pictures that I wanted to add on this. And maybe I'll have to um, add a couple in my Project Life album. And maybe just do a layout just on this specific day. Because there were tons of pictures that I wanted to add. And I didn't get a chance to add them all. So I went ahead and printed a couple of, they're three by, well actually they're four by threes because they're horizontal, but um, I picked four that I thought I wanted to showcase. And um, this was a picture of um, her sign. She, Veronica is, when she goes, when she does these parties, she goes all out. She is very much um, into like decorating and just making all kinds of cool stuff and so she had a whole counter full of goodies she even made punch um, she made it green and she made shrunken heads and it was just super cool my kids were just you know enjoyed it all and just we just had a blast we had tons of things to eat candy we had pizza and salad and spinach dip and caramel apples and grapes and you name it we had all the goods we had tons of popcorn uh, brownies um so yeah we had so much good food to eat um and the movie was great we enjoyed it it was it was funny 
and we all had a great time. So here I'm just adding the last of the pictures. We had cupcakes as well. My son took his Beetlejuice and we use that as a topper. <laughs> and um, I knew I wanted to add a place to journal. So what I did was I just cut off this journaling card from the Sweet and Spooky collection from Bella Boulevard. I punched out a tab with my tab punch. Um, I believe, no, that's, I'm not sure if that's We Are Memory Keepers, but um, I added this tab here to the top of this journaling card. I had to trim it, make sure that it wasn't going to stick um, and that I could pull it in and out. So I ended up um, using some double-sided tape and um, adhered that and made sure that there was um, a way for it to go in and making sure that it wouldn't get stuck to the side. So I just put tape all the way around except for the top and adhere that down to the transparency here. Here I'm just making sure that there's enough space. So I just trimmed it a little bit more just so that it wouldn't get caught and it still gave me enough space to journal um, about our time over. So um, here I am just journaling a little bit about our night, um, about our watch party and how much fun we had. We ended up pay playing some game called, well, I can't remember, it's called Murder Trivia. And it was so cool because we all got a code to enter and we used our phones and everybody got to chime in and it was super cool. Um, my kids loved it. I'm sure my daughter would have loved it as well. We'll have to play it another time. But um, yeah, it was a late night. We stayed up till the wee hours of the night. <laughs> well, morning, I guess I should say. Um, because when we party, we party till the wheels fall off and we stay up late. So good thing it was Friday. <laughs> so here I'm just making sure, testing it, make sure that it goes in and goes in all the way. And I just leave the tab there. And um, I didn't. I did have a couple of stuff that I could use to embellish embellish it, but I figured then you wouldn't be able to see the beetles, so I just left it as is. Um, and then I do end up adding some red line tape to add on the edge because I wanted to add a little pom pom trim. So um, I do end up adding the trim to the side. Um, I felt like I made it too taut, and so it kind of curled at the ends, and I didn't really like that, so I had to straighten it out a little bit. I'm sure once I add my pages, it'll flatten it out, and it won't be so curly at the ends. But anyway, this is it, guys. Here, I'm just adding this to my album. Um, in the pictures that I show, I do end up using a white paper behind so that you can see um, the transparency because you can't really see once you have it in the album here they kind of blend in with the coloring page in the back but anyways this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it has inspired you to start your album or maybe just finish one that you haven't finished um so yeah i hope you guys um enjoy it and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it if you like it and if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you guys have a fabulous day and stay tuned for my next crafty video. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.